How are you winding up your 2022? I hope it's been a good year. Um, myself, it's been a good year. We've uh, done some amazing things at your virtual assistant. Um, I've done some amazing things personally, and I've been really happy. On the flip side, it's also been a really challenging year. Um, I've had some personal challenges in my marriage. Um, I've been unhappy for a bit. I've really struggled with uh, the media, what's going on in the world, in the Ukraine, with COVID, cost of living. Um, so I recognise that it's been a tough year for myself and for a lot of people. I hope that um, if you look at your year and balance that you come out on the positive side um, and the wins outweigh the challenges for want of a better word. That brings me to winding up for the end of the year um, professionally. I know a lot of people were talking about get your 2023 planning underway, um, think about what your goals are next year. I would suggest trying something different. Um, don't worry about setting your goals or uh, planning for next year until next year. Use this last week as we lead into Christmas to tidy up this year. Um, for example, I've just audited my to-do list. Um, I use Keep Color Combined, so I've pulled in my various to-do lists and looked at what's still sitting there. Um, is it sitting there because it's not a priority or it doesn't need to happen, in which case I've killed it? Um, for those tasks that I do need to keep, I've looked at why they haven't been done and addressed that and combined to-dos that I possibly can, which means that next year I'll start with a clean slate, knowing that the lists I've got, and it's a pretty short list, um, is what needs to happen which leads me to the point of this episode which is how to slow down to speed up um the main reason that I've put off planning or any sort of big decision making is because I'm tired um and I want to use the next couple of weeks to recharge refresh get some sleep have some laughs have some fun and completely switch off from work that way I know that I'll be in a different positive excited mindset as I come back to work and I know that's very much the same for lots of people if you do if you do do any planning I would suggest you just sit down with a blank piece of paper and write down your wins for the year um what have you what are you proud of? What have you achieved? If you just sit down and allow yourself an hour to think, um, it's really nice to see on a piece of paper every single win that you've had, everything that you've achieved, um, the things that you're proud of, the things that you've worked hard to get, whether they be small or big things. Um, that if you're going to finish off the year doing anything, finish off the year doing that. Which brings me to, I think I said that, slowing down to speed up. I've sh I've shared a TED Talk in the show notes, um, which has a couple of really good points. I mean, how do you slow down when you've got a million things to do in your day? Um, you always feel like you're chasing your tail. Start with the basics. Breathe slowly concentrate on your breathing breathe deep breaths um, and really focus on that and, and slowing down your body eat slower um, you might be a lot younger than me but when we were growing up meal times were a time when my brother and I and mum and dad would sit around the table and we'd talk about our days and we'd eat slowly uh, we weren't allowed to leave until we'd finished all our veggies but Meal times used to be a time of conversation. Um, things are a bit different now. My husband and I eat TV on the couch 
or eat dinner on the couch watching TV. Um, but yeah, slow down, chew everything slower and it's better for your body and you can come back and make meal times a time of family and conversation and connecting. Drive slower. Um, don't be in such a rush to get somewhere all the time. Um, stick, stick to the speed limits. I really like listening to podcasts in the car. I know people that like listening to audiobooks or uh, sometimes it's just nice to play the music that you like to sing along to and have a bit of a party in the car. But in, enjoy your commutes or your travel times. If you can integrate ways of slowing down into your personal life, it will help you professionally. Um, in your professional life, be super focused about how you're spending your days. Um, are you spending your time working on tasks that you really enjoy doing that only you can do? do um, that bring you closer to your goals um, what we call working in your zone of genius or are you spending too much time doing tasks that you should be delegating that are noise um, that aren't the best use of your time that can frustrate you uh, I'm pretty good at spending time in my zone of genius um, but even so, I have weeks where the noise takes over. Um, I might spend too long on my inbox or I'll be on Slack trying to sort out some problems or be there for people. Um, and that's fine. I have good weeks. I have bad weeks when it comes to um, moving the needle in business. Um, be kind to yourself and... As, as long as the good weeks are more than the bad weeks, um, just, just slow down and be super focused on, okay, this task I'm just about to do, it's either a task that's not the best use of my time, in which, in which case use Vimeo or um, Zoom or Loom and screen share it and delegate it next time you um, the task needs doing you get to choose how you spend your days um, and you get to choose whether your time is a good return on investment slow down and enjoy what you do um, if life is all about work and most of us spend a uh, whole lot of our time working then make sure that it is work that you enjoy that fulfills you um that fills your tank um the other thing I would say is and I speak to so many parents who you know you have a nine o'clock zoom and uh, they look exhausted because I've just got the kids up got the lunches ready, got them off to school, rush back. Some of them might have got to the gym, um, but if they do, they feel like they're compromising that um, with an early meeting that they should have slotted in or whatever. Um, ease into your day. Don't look at your phone. Um, oh, I don't look at my phone for the first hour. Um, but, and... I'm pretty uh, regimented about every morning I get up, have a coffee, my husband leaves for work and I take the dog for a walk along the beach. Um, it's super, super really that I will schedule a Zoom that comes into that time um, because that's my time to get my head straight and just, oh, just wake up slowly. Um, so yeah, by slowing down, you will speed up because you will create space for yourself to be creative, to be doing the things that make a difference. Um, you'll be happier, you'll be healthier, and you'll be in the best possible frame of mind to tackle whatever 2023 brings. Um, 
I'm hoping for uh, a year where COVID doesn't play such a big factor, where um, cost of living hopefully comes down. Um, but I do know that 2023 is going to have its high points and low points. And I'm going to make sure that I'm well rested, well recharged and in the best possible frame of mind to enjoy the highs and navigate through the lows. So, yeah, this is me signing out for 2022, pleading with you to slow down, to celebrate everything that you've achieved this year and give yourself a break. Be kind to yourself. Um. And let's make 2023 another good year because whether 2022 has been kind to you or not, you've made it. Um, so, yeah, thanks so much for tuning in and I look forward to talking with you next year. See ya. Merry Christmas.